Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today, guys, we are playing some more Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Today, we are back on our Season 1 solo series, guys, and your boas have just released. So, uh, as you can see, I've been doing quite a few things here with the Jerboas. I've been breeding up. Um, basically, I revived a few, um, bred up until I got the stats that I wanted on these ones, and I actually got a health mutation male as well. So he uh, he actually has a much higher health than most of the Jerboas that we have. So some decent stats on these guys. Um, 441 melee, 418 health. Everything else is kind of like a eh stat, but um, I'm super excited. These are going to be super strong Jerboas. They're going to be pretty amazing. So I have two females here and a male, and I figured what we would do today, guys, is we're going to try to get um, maybe some Jerboa mutations, but the goal is to fill up my tame slots with Jerboas and have a Jerboa army. Like, I love Jerboas so, so much. They're one of my favorite creatures on Ark. Um, they're very, very cute. I also hope we get some non-eerie ones because I do want to do some breeding with non-eerie ones. Um, yeah, and so I currently only have three tames right now that are not Jerboas, um, and they are a Bronto and two Griffins. Griffins to get around in the Bronto, um, I'm going to use to collect some berries before I go ahead and chronicle that too. Yeah, so at the end of the day here, we should have 60 Jerboas. Maybe mutated, maybe not, uh, maybe eerie, maybe not, but either way, they're all going to be absolutely amazing. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give these guys a couple of herbivore pheromones, um, mostly because herbivore pheromones on these guys, as I've been discovering, uh, they make a huge difference in terms of the mate cooldown timers. The mate cooldown timers are only like an hour to an hour and a half on these guys on the single player game, and so that is pretty great. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to start breeding uh, breeding these guys up. And I will bring you back in a little while. Um, either when we get a mutated baby or um, when we have a few more Jerboas to fill this place up. Yeah, so I will bring you guys back in uh, just a little bit here. Okay, guys. So we are back and we actually have gotten ourselves not only a mutated baby here. Um... There we go. I'll uh, make sure that mom and dad are off wandering here real quick. Um, yeah, so we've gotten ourselves not only a mutated baby, but it also is non-eerie. So if you go ahead and look at this thing, um, you can see the belly is actually white on this guy. He's super, super cute. Now, um, yeah, he is mutated. It looks like his mutations are in health and oxygen. The health is from the dad, and then the oxygen is a new mutation. But I am still pretty happy that I have a non-eerie baby. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one, uh, let it grow up. And in the meantime, I'm going to keep breeding um, with the breeder females that I have. And yeah, uh, I think we'll carry on from there. I'm super excited though. It's like really, um, <laughs> I feel like it's really rare to get a non-eerie uh, baby out of all this, especially to have a mutation on it at the same time. That's kind of cool, even if it is an oxygen mutation. I'm still pretty happy having a non-eerie baby. So I'm going to keep this guy, um, let him grow up in the corner somewhere, and I'm probably going to save him for uh, non-eerie Jerboa breeding in the future. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys see this guy because baby Jerboas are super cute. And uh, this one's not even eerie, so you can see his little face a little bit better. He's adorable. <laughs> All right, guys. So yeah. Um, I'll bring you guys back in a little while. I'm going to keep going with these guys. I'm probably going to bring you guys back, um, when our tame slots are full. We will probably get a few more mutations in that process, but I'm not going to worry about it too much because the goal today is to create an army and, uh, we can always do mutations in the future since I'll have so many. So yeah, I will bring you guys back, um, once all of our tame slots are Jerboa full. Alright guys, uh, real quick, I'm in the middle of breeding some uh, more Jerboas, but it looks like they were predicting a weather event. They were kind of digging at the ground, shaking their tails. Um, on PC, that indicates um, some sort of weather event, so I'm not sure which one it is. Uh, 
But it definitely indicates a weather event. I've noticed they've done this a little bit with the rain. They definitely do the rain um, sound or whatever that it is. Maybe it's a heat wave. I'm not even sure what it is, but I know that they're predicting some sort of weather event. 27 degrees Celsius. That is kind of warm. Maybe. The sky looks a little red. It's hard to tell at night, um, unfortunately, but I do think this might actually be, um, I think it might be a heat wave event because it doesn't look super foggy right now. All right, let me just see if we can't uh, check this out. Um, it's not super cold. I have really good armor, so it does make it super hard to tell. But um, it looks like the temperature might be warmer than usual for this time of day. And there's definitely no fog. So I think it might be a heat wave that's happening right now. Oh man, the morning light makes it super hard to tell. Can we just, please? And I do apologize for my voice, guys. I don't know what is happening to it right now. It's, uh, it's definitely different. Yeah, so um, it looks like the Jerboas can actually predict weather events, which is super cool. Um, I didn't know that they could do that on this game. I didn't think that they would have that ability. But it looks like Jerboas are going to be able to predict weather events um, a minute or so in advance. So do keep an eye out for that, guys. That's super cool. Um, I'm really glad I caught that because they just started doing it. So it's, uh, it's a little crazy. And as you can see, yeah, we have a bit of a Jerboa breeding operation going on here. But... Um, we're well on our way to filling up our tame slot, so I'm going to keep on keeping on. Wanted to share that with you guys. I will try to capture it if they do um, any other clue for a weather event, um, and we can check it out at that time. Yeah, I think this is definitely... I feel like it was a heat wave, but it might not be. It's super hard to tell. Normally you can tell a heat wave because the sky turns kind of yellow, but at night and at morning, I, I have no idea if it's going to be a heat wave or a normal thing. I kind of want to wait and find out, but I have no idea if it's going to be anytime soon. It's really cool, though. So anyway, uh, yeah, I guess I'll keep an eye out and see if I can figure out what cues do what. Um, in the meantime, guys, do know that if you get a Jerboa, they're going to be able to uh, tell you when a weather event is coming, which is uh, really, really cool. Yeah, so I will bring you guys back um, once again when we have our whole little army here. All right, guys, so we have done it. I have here 60 helmeted, armored Jerboas, as you can see. Um, it's pretty amazing. I do have the one wearing a crown on my shoulder uh, just because I actually love the crown skin on the Jerboas. I think it's adorable. It's my favorite of all of them. Um, yeah, as you can see, we have quite a few Jerboas here. Some are non-eerie, uh, like this blue-backed one here. I did save any unique color mutations we got because I do, um, or at least any one of the color mutations I got, because I do want to do some mutations with these guys for real. But, um, yeah, I was having a lot of fun basically just breeding up a ton of Jerboas. You can see some of them I gave some fun hat skins to. Uh, this guy's wearing the glasses. He does have an Ascendant helmet on, I promise. Um, oh, I'm surrounded. All right. Cool, yeah, so uh, the goal here is to take all 60 of these Jerboas who are all currently following me, and we're gonna take them out and we're gonna do a little bit of damage around the island, guys. Uh, these took for absolutely ever to breed up. Look at all those. Um, they took so, so long to breed up, but they're so awesome. They are so, so much fun to, uh, to breed and to play with, and oh my gosh, I've just really, really enjoyed them. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that we don't lose any in the process. They're a little bit slow, so this may take me uh, some time to get out to where we can actually go and fight something. In fact, I may head out um, that way because I think there's probably more stuff over that way than there is on this side. Um, I took the long way around the lake, but that's okay. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and lead these guys around a little bit. Um, may take a minute before we actually get to so many, any creatures, but, um, yeah, that's the plan for today. So I will bring you guys back in just a minute. Look at all of them. Um, yeah, I'll bring you guys back in a minute when we get over there. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long to lead my little army. Oh my goodness. This is going to be so good. All right. I'll see you guys in a little bit.
Okay, guys, so we're getting close to some uh, creatures here. Let's actually go ahead and have them... Um, can I have them? There we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they destroyed it. Okay, that was quick. Um, <laughs> all right, so that wasn't fully the intention, but um, essentially I want them to uh, attack all of these different creatures and just see how well they do. Oh, my gosh, look at them go. I'm amazed that that Dillo lasted that long. Look at all of these Jerboas. It's actually crazy. There we go. I'll give myself a little space. Um, I can keep checking to make sure that I have all of them by whistling follow all. That's actually super useful. All right, let's go over this way and see if we can't find something else. Something had been chasing that Parasaur, so I'm kind of looking forward to seeing whatever that was. Now that we've kind of made it around the lake. Um, oh my gosh. It's This is just absolutely crazy. This is so many Jerboas. Oh, no, I don't have them all. I don't have them all. I'm missing three. Nope, where'd they go? Don't get don't get lost, guys. No, where are they? They must be stuck back here. There we go. Okay. So they heard me. I don't know if they're stuck back here or not. They shouldn't be. They shouldn't be at this point. Alright. Hopefully we have enough of them here. Um, okay, cool. So let's keep going this way. Uh, maybe let's have them attack something here. Perhaps a pig. That would be kind of entertaining. Go for it. Oh, look at him go. I think that's a dead Fiomia. Oh, look at him. Oh my goodness. They're just all crazy. Look at that. Man, they don't do very much damage. I will say that. Uh, the Draboas don't do a ton of damage, but man, are they crazy. Uh, they are super fun to watch. All right. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't get a few more going here. I want to head kind of down towards the coast and then maybe up towards the snow biome, just so that we're kind of out of the rocks here. Oh my gosh, I keep losing three. All right, uh, I'm gonna stop all these guys here. I think I've lost, oh, a fairy, hold on. Follow all, all right, there we go. I must have lost three somewhere down here. Um, I think I kinda want them to attack this, uh, this fairy. They're so slow to follow, it's actually ridiculous. Come on, guys. You can do it, I believe. What is stuck? There they are. I knew they were stuck somewhere. Come here. There we go. All right. They're 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 definitely stuck. They're definitely derpy. The AI here is not the best. Um, they tend to do these funky little circles when they get stuck, which doesn't always get them free, but um, it's fine. We'll get through it eventually. All right. Here we go. We should be able to get back over here. I really kind of wanted them to attack the Therry, but I need the Therry to come down here first. Let me see if I can't help it out. Come here, Therry. There we go. I did quite a bit of damage, but they should be able to finish it off. Alright, they killed a Dillo somewhere. Don't know where that was. Oh, look at it go. Look at him go. Oh, they killed a Therry. Jerboas are OP, and I don't think I lost a single Jerboa, guys. I don't think I lost a single one. A couple of them are a little bit hurt, but uh, these helmets are doing their job. They're definitely not dead, which is exactly what I wanted. All right, I am getting some severe frames from them, though, which is kind of amazing. All right, come on, guys. Let's see if we can't lead them out of the canyon now. There we go. Hopefully they don't get stuck on another rock. Um, yeah, I definitely want to pit them against something. I have no idea what yet, but... <laughs> We should definitely make them fight something. Let's see if we can't get closer to the beach or something, away from all of these rocks. Because the rocks are definitely going to cause some issues here. Alright, uh, yeah, I'm going to head out to some open ground. Um, what I might do is I might actually kill some difficult stuff and revive it near these guys. So I might lead these guys out to some open area. Um and then revive some wild creatures at a revival platform or something for these guys to fight, because they are massively difficult to actually move around, unfortunately. They're very cool. They're very strong. 
they're doing a good job, but I do think we need to, um, I want them to fight bigger stuff, and I don't think we can do that. I don't think we can do that unless we definitely get, um, a little bit more clearance here, because they're just, they're so difficult to get to follow me around. And the one on my shoulder, uh... <laughs> Is the only one that I can guarantee will stay with me. Come on, guys. You got it. I believe they're still all in range, so that's something. Alright, this might be a good area for it. I might kill this Dillo and let them, uh, let them do the rest. Watch them go. Oop, I got poisoned. No! I wanted to see them kill it. There we go. They killed the Jerboa. That's fabulous. All right, cool. So they'll eventually all get down here. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put up a revival platform. We'll revive some stuff for these guys to fight. It should be a good time. All right, so I'll bring you guys back in a minute um, once I've collected a few implants of things and uh, once we have all of these Jerboas kind of gathered in the right area. All right, so uh, I do have the revival platform up now. It took a little longer than I would have liked to gather some implants, but uh, that's okay. We've got at least a few here we can test these guys out on. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and start with this level 10 theory. That might be starting a little bit strong, but I think it's going to be okay. All right. And I'm going to stand a little bit back here and basically just whistle attack target on this guy. There we go. Oh, he's going to hurt me a little bit. That's okay. I do... I should put on invulnerable so that it's not quite so bad for me. Actually, I'm gonna do that. Just so that we can actually see how well these guys do at killing this guy. Perfect, there we go. All right, so not too bad. I don't think we lost a single Jerboa in that fight, um, and that was pretty good. Let's go ahead and like, yep, that was all 60 of them. Okay, cool, so we didn't lose a single Jerboa in all of that. Let's go ahead and try the next one, since that was not very tough. Um, let's see. I do have a Titan. I doubt I can revive it here. Yeah, I cannot revive it here. Big sad. I did grab a Titan implant, hoping I could kill it, but um, I don't think that's going to be a thing. All right, let's go ahead and resurrect this Terror Bird real quick and see how this goes. Hi, buddy. Up, up. Here, I'll just lead him down into the pack. There we go. Since they're all on attack target, they should take care of that. Oh, look at him go. Not even an issue. Not even an issue. Look at how many. <laughs> the Jerboas are so strong. I don't even know if I have a creature here strong enough to defeat them. I do have quite a few. Um, alright, so let's go ahead and try, maybe we could try, like, the Chally or the Stego. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try the Chally here, because the Chally should be pretty strong. Oh man, this is gonna do a number on my Amber, but I think it's worth it. I really do want to check these guys out. Come here. Alright, we'll just, uh, have him come through. Can I whistle the target? There we go. They got it. Oh man, he does he does a big hit. They're on him though. I think they got this. He's a pretty low level Chally. I think they won't have too much trouble with him. Oh yeah, they got it. Cool. How hurt are you guys? Not even a little. These guys are not even a little bit hurt. That's what's insane. Alright. Oh, another Theory. Hi, buddy. That's a little bit bigger of a Theory. Um, whoops. Jerboas. Save me. Whoop. Attack. Alright, alright, there we go. He's on me, which is not helpful. That's not really what I want to see. I'll just stand here. Hopefully they can get him. Alright, he's getting pretty hurt. I like it. They're not- he's like seriously not even attacking them. He's attacking me, which is hilarious. You're not gonna do any damage, buddy. There we go. There we go. All right, he's taken a few swipes at him, but like they're all still fine. Their helmets are all still in good shape. Like, look at these guys, they're doing great. Um, man, I'm so impressed. Okay, they're a little more hurt now, but not too bad, so I think they'll get it. That theory came out of nowhere. 
All right, so I do have a couple more creatures here. Uh, let's go ahead and try the Aloe, and then I do want to do the Rex and the Bronto as well. So let's try this Aloe. It's a pretty high level, so it should be kind of a difficult one, and it is an eerie one that I just decided to, uh, to raise up here just so that they could kill it. Just so that they could kill it. All right, there we go. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to... I think this Draboa army might legitimately defeat most of the creatures that I throw at them. I really wish I could revive a Titan or a Giga down here. That would be amazing. Um, unfortunately, it's just so hard to do because you can't revive them at a platform. And it takes forever to get the Draboas anywhere. Um, it's honestly so painful. This guy's got a lot of health, so he can get a lot of hits in. We'll see if we lose any. I don't know if we'll even lose any this way. Look at that. They're doing so good. Look at my little army. I'm going to be seriously impressed if we don't lose a single Jerboa in the whole course of this trial here. How's this guy doing? He's got 700 health left. They've got him. They've got him. <laughs> they're so vicious. Look, they're just like piling up on this guy. Jerboas are the strongest creatures, guys. Uh, you heard it here first. All right. Let's go ahead and try the Rex, because the Rex is actually a pretty low level. Oh, I can't revive it here. Dang it, I forget about that. That's so not fair. Alright, we can revive the Bronto, though. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, <laughs> the Bronto ought to be fun. He's kind of a big guy. Uh, he's got plenty of health, so... Hopefully... Alright, let's watch him go. There we go. Now they can hit him. Oh, scattered Jerboas. Look at them all. He attacks pretty fast. I don't know if they're going to get this guy. Oh, man, they're going everywhere. They keep coming back for more, though. I'm very proud of my little Jerboa army here. They're doing a good job. I think those Ascendant Helmets really help keep them alive in this whole process. This is great. Oh my goodness. Look at them go. You got it, guys. You got it. They're literally everywhere. Look at them all. Oh my gosh. You can see them, like, in the distance. Little tiny dots. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. I think they got it. I still have not lost a single Jerboa, guys. I think that is maybe what amazes me the most about all this. I have not lost a single Jerboa in this whole process. Oh man, they're doing great. Look at that. They're so vicious. They're so strong, actually. If you put an Ascendant Helmet on a Draboa, um, it's actually it's actually pretty decent. Like, they don't do a ton of damage, but by the time you get a few of them piled together, um, they definitely can do some real damage here. Look at this guy. He's almost dead. He's even stopped attacking, and I don't think we lost a single Draboa in that fight. I don't think we lost even one. Oh, if they take him out to sea, that could be a problem. Oh no. Don't run out to sea. I don't know how well they swim. They have a lot of oxygen, but still. I don't know if they can catch him. Look at them all go. Oh my gosh. They're really determined. I'll give them that. They're gonna get stuck on stuff, though. That's like the worst part. They're right on his tail. 640 health. Oh, he's running so hard, and they're just like... They're going everywhere. I may have to end this just so that they don't end up scattered all over the map, because that would uh, that would not be fun. But they're doing their best, man. I'm, like, really impressed with it. Oh, hi, Raptor. That's fine. Yeah, he's healing up. They're, he's too fast for them. That's the issue. Um... Alright, let's go ahead and just... Actually... I hate raptors, dude. Alright, I may help them out here. They got in a couple of hits. Come here. Oh my goodness, stop! I've got your boas everywhere. Alright, there we go. <laughs> cool, so they were willing to chase him literally across the map, which is great. Look how many I have now. Oh man, they're everywhere. I don't think we lost a single one. Guys, we didn't we didn't lose a single Jerboa in that whole process. They're all still alive. Um and it looks like a fair number of them even have all of their health or most of their health. Like look at this. 
This is so impressive. I don't even know what to do about all this. Um, I may have to figure out a way to get a Giga down here or a Titan down here because these Jerboas are incredibly strong and I think I'm not gonna have too much trouble. Um, I might be able to request them to my location. Maybe that's what I'll do. I don't think it'll be in this episode. I'll probably do a standalone for it because that's gonna take a long time to set up for guys. But uh, I do think that these Jerboas are totally capable of taking on something a little bit stronger, a Titan or a Giga. And so I may spend some time and actually stage that fight just because I think that would be really fun to see. And um, these guys are really tough. So if they have good helmets on, they might actually be able to do it. All right, guys, but I do think that is going to do it for today's episode. So if you did find yourself enjoying this one at any point, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.